illuminate your presentation and give life to your content with kind of design. Watch this video till the end to learn this kind of style. Trust me, it is easy. Subscribe and join our membership. Also share if you can. Let's begin our journey. Grab a circle from the shapes menu. You know, it is at the top. Draw a circle. Please hold shift key while drawing. Else it will look like a potato, which you do not want. Next is fill and outline. Remove its outline and go to effects panel. The middle button in the right menu. Rotate using 3D rotation with isometric view. But the magic happens when you add 3D depth. Keep adding the depth until it goes out of the screen. Looks like a strong pillar. Too much height? I think let's go with the height around 400 points. Should work. Create such three pillars of success. Control plus D will do it for you. So smooth. Now what's next? Let's start with the colors. You know, I always go with the gradients. Change the fill for one of the pillars and then I will use Format Painter to apply the same on others as well. Saves time. I will be using multiple stops gradient to create a realistic flow of colors. Just thinking. Changing the background color as well. Yes, again gradient fill. Going with a lighter tone of blue and purple. Always take time to fill the gradients. It is one thing which puts life in the designs. Always check the gradient flow, direction, type of gradient from the options on the right panel. Radial gradient is making sense here. Isn't it? Well, it looks more dynamic than linear at certain places. You may try it. Background is done. Let's paint this pillar. The simple strategy is to add multiple gradient stops. Keep the dark tones towards the corner of the gradient and lighter ones in the middle. Also, try to keep a white gradient stop but do not give it a much space on the gradient scale. It should look like a thin line. I repeat, the white color should look like a thin line. I know it is sounding too technical. I am simplifying it. Think of gradient colors as a scale from the left to right. Start filling the colors. Fill dark colors towards the corners and lighter in between. Keep white color as thin as possible. In the end, you will get a realistic color on the shape. The photorealistic effect kind of style. Here I have filled the gradient, but it still looks very basic. Hmm. Now I will keep on adjusting the stops by moving them, spacing them, changing some color tones, direction, etc. I will keep on doing it until I get the desired result. There is no trick, just one method, keep going until it looks like what you have visualized or at least close to it. Also, it comes with practice and patience. So please watch how I am doing it and you can also try the same. I have placed the download link in the description. Try to change the styles and colors. The more you practice, better you will earn. Here you can see I have applied the radial gradient. Isn't it looking cool? Thank me later. Similarly you can create gradients for the other two pillars. Use Format Painter option. It is very useful. By doing that you will get the pre-filled gradient stops. You just need to change the colors. Easy for you. Look at these. New colors and looking amazing. Platforms for showcasing data. Now what's next? Think. Let's create their caps. For that just duplicate one of the pillar and decrease its 3D depth from 400 points to something like 5 or 10 points. If you want it to be thicker, then increase the points. But for this presentation 5 points are good to go. Now place the cap on the top. I thought white color will look good. But I want the gradient color here. By default, it will pick the previous gradient which is radial. I have a habit of doing things differently, so I thought let's change it to linear. Let's go with the linear gradient on the caps. Also, I am changing the color flow as well. I need a white thin line of color in the middle of the cap. For your information, linear gradient means a gradient flow in a straight line without any curves. This information is for someone who is newbie in PowerPoint. I want the gradient to be tilted or in layman language at a slanted angle. I have changed the gradient angle to 20 degrees. You can further polish the color flow if you want to. Now be smart and save time. Duplicate the caps and place them over the next two pillars as well. When you start designing any presentation, you get ideas and your creativity starts expanding. You always start with a smaller element or idea but it enhances, you experiment, change and things start evolving during the design process. Similarly, I am adding the white color in the middle of the gradient flow of the pillars so that the color flow matches with the caps. Hope you understood what I have just explained. Further enhance the colors as per your liking and apply the similar style in other two pillars as well. Now what's next is something more amazing. I am adding glass caps on the top of these pillars. Now you do not have to create something time-consuming. 
simple duplicate the existing caps. Now change their color to white as currently these are filled with gradients. After that, increase their 3D depth and you can see the output yourself. If you finding this video interesting till now, please subscribe and share the video within your circle. To make things interesting here, let's take this design to the next level. Most of us will stop here and finish the slide design. But we are going to take it to the next level. But how? I am creating some background reflections of the design. This gives a realistic and some 3D kind of depth effect. Just copy one of the pillar and paste it as an image. It is important to note that you should paste it as an image. After doing so, decrease its sharpness to make it blur as there is no direct option to make an image blur. Then you can edit few more options like brightness, contrast, etc. You can position multiple blurred pillars in the background. This will make your PowerPoint presentation much more powerful and interesting. Once you have made the blurred backgrounds, you can edit and crop them to fit at certain positions. Like this one I am placing on the pillar so I need to crop it in order to match its borders with the pillar. Again, it is not something difficult to achieve. Visualize your design in a 3D environment and try to design it accordingly. Do remember to send the blurred pillars to the back else these will overlap the real pillars. This kind of presentation design is useful for any topic where you want to showcase three key points or process with stats. Also, if there is something which you want to highlight as an achievement, growth, future prospects, then this design resonates perfectly. As a PowerPoint designer you should know how to customize your designs. If I would be using this design for a financial report then I will add a finance-related background and add few related icons. Hope you understand how to customize certain elements to match the topic. This way, you can relate better with the viewer. I am now adding rounded thin rectangular shapes vertically on the pillars. I have filled white color and increased transparency. This creates a reflection effect. Looks cool. After doing some more finishing, I have added the content on the slide. On the left using some rectangular shapes I have created headings and calls to action. You need to customize the design as per your requirements. But now you know how to design such style of slide designs. I am adding a gradient mask in white on these three pillars to make it look more realistic. Also, you must have noticed that in the background, I have multiple blurred pillars. In the slideshow mode these will look amazing. So here is the final version. You can use this kind of idea and create your own styles. Download link is in the description. You know how to subscribe. See you in my next video.